Judges chapter 1 After the death of Joshua, the Israelites inquired of the Lord, Who shall go up first for us against the Canaanites to fight against them? The Lord said, Judah shall go up. I hereby give the land into his hand. Judah said to his brother Simeon, Come up with me into the territory allotted to me, that we may fight against the Canaanites. Then I too will go with you into the territory allotted to you. So Simeon went with him. Then Judah went up, and the Lord gave the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand, and they defeated ten thousand of them at Bezek. They came upon Adonai Bezek at Bezek and fought against him and defeated the Canaanites and the Perizzites. Adonai Bezek fled, but they pursued him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. Adonai Bezek said, Seventy kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off used to pick up scraps under my table. As I have done, so God has paid me back. They brought him to Jerusalem, and he died there. Then the people of Judah fought against Jerusalem and took it. They put it to the sword and set the city on fire. Afterward, the people of Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites who lived in the hill country, in the Negev, and in the lowland. Judah went against the Canaanites who lived in Hebron. The name of Hebron was formerly Kiriath Arba, and they defeated Sheshai and Ahiman and Talmai. From there they went against the inhabitants of Deber. The name Deber was formerly Kiriath Sefer. Then Caleb said, Whoever attacks Kiriath Sefer and takes it, I will give him my daughter Aksa as his as wife. And Othniel, son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother, took it, and he gave him his daughter Aksa as wife. When she came to him, she urged him to ask her father for a field. As she dismounted from her donkey, Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She said to him, Give me a present, since you have set me in the land of the Negev. Give me also Guloth Mayim. So Caleb gave her upper Guloth and lower Guloth. The descendants of Hobab, the Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up with the people of Judah from the city of Palms into the wilderness of Judah, which lies in the Negev near Arad. Then they went and settled with the Amalekites. Judah went with his brother Simeon, and they defeated the Canaanites, who inhabited Zephath, and devoted it to destruction. So the city was called Hormah. Judah took Gaza with its territory, Ashkelon with its territory, and Ekron with its territory. The Lord was with Judah, and he took possession of the hill country, but could not drive out the inhabitants of the plain, because they had chariots of iron. Hebron was given to Caleb, as Moses had said, and he drove out from it the three sons of Anak. But the Benjaminites did not drive out the Jebusites who lived in Jerusalem. So the Jebusites have lived in Jerusalem among the Benjaminites to this day. The house of Joseph also went up against Bethel, and the Lord was with them. The house of Joseph sent out spies to Bethel, The name of the city was formerly Luz. When the spies saw a man coming out of the city, they said to him, Show us the way into the city, and we will deal kindly with you. So he showed them the way into the city, and they put the city to the sword, but they let the man and all his family go. So the man went to the land of the Hittites and built a city and named it Luz. That is its name to this day. Manasseh did not drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shean and its villages, or Tanakh and its villages, or the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, or the inhabitants of Iblim and its villages, or the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. But the Canaanites continued to live in that land. When Israel grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not, in fact, drive them out. And Ephraim did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer, but the Canaanites lived among them in Gezer. 
Zebulun did not drive out the inhabitants of Kitron, or the inhabitants of Nahalol, but the Canaanites lived among them and became subject to forced labor. Asher did not drive out the inhabitants of Akko, or the inhabitants of Sidon, or of Alab, or of Akzib, or of Helba, or of Afik, or of Rehob, but the Asherites lived among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land, for they did not drive them out. Naphtali did not drive out the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, or the inhabitants of Beth Anoth, but lived among the Canaanites, the inhabitants of the land. Nevertheless, the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh and of Beth Anoth became subject to forced labor for them. The Amorites pressed the Danites back into the hill country. They did not allow them to come down to the plain. The Amorites continued to live in har Hares, in Ajalon, and in Shalbim. But the hand of the house of Joseph rested heavily on them, and they became subject to forced labor. The border of the Amorites ran from the ascent of Akrabim, from Selah and upward. Judges chapter 2 Now the angel of the Lord went up from Gilgal to Bochum, and said, I brought you up from Egypt, and brought you into the land that I had promised to your ancestors. I said, I will never break my covenant with you. For your part, do not make a covenant with the inhabitants of this land. Tear down their altars. But you have not obeyed my command. See what you have done. So now I say, I will not drive them out before you, but they shall become adversaries to you, and their gods shall be a snare to you. When the angel of the Lord spoke these words to all the Israelites, the people lifted up their voices and wept. So they named that place Bochum, and there they sacrificed to the Lord. When Joshua dismissed the people, the Israelites all went to their own inheritances to take possession of the land. The people worshipped the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua who had seen all the great work that the Lord had done for Israel. Joshua, son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110 years. So they buried him within the bounds of his inheritance in timnath Hears, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. Moreover, that whole generation was gathered to their ancestors, and another generation grew up after them, who did not know the Lord, or the work that he had done for Israel. Then the Israelites did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and worshipped the Baals, and they abandoned the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They followed other gods, from among the gods of the peoples who were all around them, and bowed down to them, and they provoked the Lord to anger. They abandoned the Lord and worshipped Baal and the Astartes. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them over to plunderers who plundered them, and he sold them into the power of their enemies all around, so that they could no longer withstand their enemies. Whenever they marched out, the hand of the Lord was against them to bring misfortune, as the Lord had warned them and sworn to them, and they were in great distress. Then the Lord raised up judges, who delivered them out of the power of those who plundered them. Yet they did not listen even to their judges, for they lusted after other gods and bowed down to them. They soon turned aside from the way in which their ancestors had walked, who had obeyed the commandments of the Lord. They did not follow their example. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge, and he delivered them from the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For the Lord would be moved to pity by their groaning because of those who persecuted and oppressed them. But whenever the judge died, they would relapse and behave worse than their ancestors, following other gods, worshiping them, and bowing down to them. They would not drop any of their practices or their stubborn ways, So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he said, 
because this people have transgressed my covenant that I commanded their ancestors and have not obeyed my voice, I will no longer drive out before them any of the nations that Joshua left when he died in order to test Israel whether or not they would take care to walk in the way of the Lord as their ancestors did, the Lord had left those nations, not driving them out at once, and had not handed them over to Joshua.